What's up guys, Eber here. This is gonna be a different type of video. If you remember Snows from our Boot Sequence channel, he's currently rocking a system that definitely needs a little bit of maintenance. So we're gonna to head to his place and see what the setup is like, cause he said it's pretty roughed up. It's very dusty, it needs a lot of cleaning, it definitely needs new thermal compound and all that stuff. So today is gonna to be a maintenance day for a uh, for system. And I'm very excited to, to help him out in that area. So why don't we go uh, check out what uh, he's dealing with. The Neo cases by Metal Gear come in three variations, Neo Silent, Neo Air, and Neo G to satisfy your build and visual preference with the good I.O., excellent internal layout and RGB fans included on Neo G and Air models. Check the description to see which Neo is best for you. You know, as much as I love Canada as a country, winter can be a little challenging sometimes. But today is a beautiful day because the sun is nice and bright. Guys, I had to walk up these stairs and I cannot emphasize how dangerous they were. Snows? I mean, come on, man. You gotta take care of this. But, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see what he's dealing with. Snows? Open the door. It's cold. It's cold! Whew. Hey, what's Yo. up, buddy? How's what's it going? What's up? Come all in! Alright, alright, all right. here we go. Snows actually in the middle of renovating his own space, and his living room looks pretty amazing. I mean, the transformation looks awesome. I had to redo the, the walls. I had to remove the walls, remove a complete wall, redo the insulation, fix the electrical, and then the, there it is. This is this is my space now. So he has covered the PC. He hasn't sent me any pictures of his desktop. Snows, show it to me, man. I want I want to see this. I want to I want to see this right now. Come on. <laughs> what? Yep. Dude, yep. this is your main system. Yeah. Okay, this <clears throat> needs B-roll. You guys have to see how disgusting Snows has been treating his desktop PC. It is just, it's a humiliation to the PC master race. <laughs> Snows, can you explain to me this? Okay, well first of all, this is three and a half years, okay? But most of the damage has been done in the last year. So, look at this. This is a concrete backsplash, okay? okay? Right. Which I like now. But while I was building it, I had to redo three times. And one of the times, I thought it'd be smart to sand the concrete. And sanding concrete is not a good idea. So most of this is concrete sand. You can see how light gray it is, okay? But, the, this case was black, by the way. But can you also explain to me all these little spider webs? Yeah, How did spiders get inside your PC? Okay, it's... I used to live in a basement, okay? So there were spiders, and uh, I guess they laid the foundation and the concrete dust just added the... the... Jeez, man. <laughs> well, at least it's nice that we have like a dust filter at the front that has done pretty much a really good job blocking it from getting... No, it hasn't. Not really... that much. I, I... Wow. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I mean, it did. It did it in a way. <laughs> it's just, this is, wow. Okay, well, look at the I.O. The, uh, you said that some of the I.O. they don't work because of, 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 of this. There's a high chance I just didn't plug the USB 2. You did you or did you not? That I did not. Well, uh, we're, we're going to test it out because we want to make sure that some of these ports work because if they don't, well then we might have to get you a new case. So what we're going to do in this video is clean the PC, uh, of course, that's the main priority of this. Also, I wanna ask Snows an interesting question. How has this system not failed on you? Like, how are the temperatures? Explain explain that. The temperatures are fine, man. I, really? I don't know what to tell you. The, the air in, air out, that's the science. So you're right? telling me that even if we clean the system, we're probably gonna expect lower or like the temps to stay the same. Is yeah, right? well, I don't think they're gonna stay the same, maybe like a few degrees higher, uh, lower, sorry, uh, okay. once we clean it, but so far, I mean, it works. I don't know what to tell you. So Nose, walk me through the specs of your PC. So CPU is a AMD Ryzen 7 1700, so a few years old. The GPU is a RTX 2080. Um, the memory, uh, I believe it's 32 gigs, but I painted them, so I don't, I forgot the brand. It looks good. <laughs> yeah. So let's uh, let's hit it with an Ida 64 uh, stress test on the CPU. So right now it's averaging like 30 C, which is not bad. 
Not bad at all. I told you. But let's, let's, let's hit it. So as you can see, the temperatures are slowly rising. Here's a little visual indicator for you. Uh, right now we're in the 10 minute mark where we're gonna run it for another five minutes to record the highest temperature that it gets. So guys, as we're monitoring GPU temps right now, well, I asked Snows if he had a piece of paper to test the airflow. Check out this place. Hey, I mean, look, this is my construction room. I keep all this stuff for, look, I have isolation right there. Insulation. Yeah, but do, do you need help, man? I have a like, plater. how are you? How are you? <laughs> I'm getting out. No. Okay. Oh, you made it. All right, so the benchmarks are complete, but now it's time to clean the PC. Eber doesn't want to touch I it. I don't want to touch it. I do not want to touch it. You know, I don't want it to get on my clothes and whatnot. So I'm going to let Snows Let's... walk you through what exactly we're going to do, the process, like the steps, uh, you know, from start to finish. So, Snows. We're, we're just gonna clean it, man. We're just we're, gonna clean we're, it? We're gonna get we... clean it. We're gonna start with the case. We're gonna give it a wipe down. We're gonna make sure that, uh, you know, this beauty um, uh, gets the outside treatment. Okay. And then uh, we're gonna go inside, dismantle it, and take a look at the damage. Now, I did bring so... some tools with me that might help with your process. So I've got a, uh, a blower. Thank you very and much. And a vacuum cleaner, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. I've also got some uh, microfiber cloths, some uh, anti-static uh, um, brushes. What's and that? Then, What's the, and then and I've got I've got a I've got a coverall. You you definitely would need this. It's okay. This is so thin. I'm I'm trying to make this as fun as possible. This is probably the coolest thing I've ever done. I mean, come on, how cool how cool is that? That's that's pretty cool. But now, let's clean this. Why don't you go ahead and start it? Take a look at the power supply. It's the first time we're seeing it. Is it good? Dude, it's fine. that is actually amazing. See, the, power, the, the filter, it yeah. has a job to do. It does it well. It's clean. So we've kind of done the outside. I don't see anything else we should clean outside. What do you think? I mean, it's disgusting. I mean, look. Yeah. But, but it's, it's not like we can do anything before we start um, that is true, it. but I'm surprised at how clean the motherboard is. It doesn't look that bad. I think the filters actually did a really good job blocking the air or the dust. Well, yeah, man, um, that's, uh, so I it's just you. It's just dirty over here and, and, and over there. But... Yeah, the fans are disgusting. Yeah, so. Clearly, it, I've, I've not given uh, my fans any chance yeah. here. So let's start disassembling it. I'm gonna start with the, with the 240 AIO. So the 240 AIO is out. Yep, well, it's almost out. Let's take a look. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay. Hey, the um, CPU is cool. What? This I, is why you use pull configuration and I, not push. I do not want to touch that. Don't but, touch it. But Why does it look like flaky? This is weird. There's like five different colors. You can see the white from the drywall, the gray from the freaking, uh, from the freaking concrete. So the GPU is out and the condition of the RTX 2080 Founders Edition is okay. not bad. Yeah. But, you know, maybe if we just like... It's just got the, the, the nastiness on the fans that, uh, you know, how, how fans slice dust. <laughs> of course. And then, <laughs> and then it gets stuck here. So this is mainly the issue. All right, let's go. Um, by the way, always hold the fan when you want to blow onto, into a piece of machinery because uh, when the fan turns, it makes electricity and you don't want it to go back inside of the, the GPU. There you go. Oh God. Oh wow. That's, that's a lot more than I thought that was. That's so true. Damn. Don't do that, man. Oh, oh. Wow. Oh. What is that little thing? It's a USB card, okay? Why, because you ran out of IO or yeah, ports? Yeah, because it broke. Because my I.O. breaks and then I have to buy things like that. Mm. Oh, it's not as bad as I thought. From well, this angle, it looks absolutely garbage. Yeah, but... But then you turn it and it's... it's oh. sh show, show the worst part. Flip it. 
There you go. Okay. That's... You can see this is the GPU ring. Oh this, yeah, you're right. The GPU was sucking like right that above is this. So true. So are you actually sure about this? You wanna you I wanna don't, I don't care about this thing. Okay. It's not it's... This is this is you doing dumb things right now, man. Yeah. Okay, that is so hurt. Yeah. Uh, Hold on, a little bit of, you know, the Molex needs a little love. What do you? And there you go. Now it's gonna, it's, it's clean. I'm gonna stick it in the oven for a few seconds. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> To do the fan. The fans are the worst. I know. The fans are the hardest. First of all, the space is tiny. Second of all, there's too much blades, and I don't want to do it. You know, at first glance, this looks like, you know, oh, this fan is a little more dusty, right? And this one's just clean. Take a look. <laughs> this is pretty transparent. That's a clean fan. That one isn't. Oh, that's even worse. Yep. At least you can clean it. Yep. So the last thing to do here is to clean up the power supply chamber underneath because it's still pretty dirty. But in order to do that, we need to remove the power supply. Watch out, watch out. Uh, you got it out? Yeah, I okay. mean. Flip it around. Let's, let's, let's see what kind of mysteries are in it. It's clean. Dude, that is not bad, man. As you can see, the bottom is 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 pretty bad. Like, it's it's not even funny, guys. A lot of dust. We have a lot of work to do. This is the easiest way to wash screws. You usually don't have to wash, wash screws because, you know, your PC's not that dirty. But if you ever need to, this is how. Put the screws in, rinse, and repeat. Quite literally, the rinse. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's, okay. let's... I can feel like a bulge under, under it. Ah, oh, that's disgusting. Well, isn't that beautiful? It is. All right, Snows. We have a clean system. It I took mean, so long. It took just, so long to do. Just, just look at, look at it. It looks amazing from <sighs> every possible angle. So the last thing to do here is to put everything together. We have the components on that side, which are nice and tidy. They're nice and clean. Uh, and then it's just a matter of running the benchmarks again to see if there is a difference in temperatures. There's not going to be any difference either. So Snows believes that the temperatures are going to stay exactly the same, but I think it's going to make a little bit of a difference because we removed a lot of dust. But nonetheless, let's uh, let's put it back together. Done cleaning. Uh, Eber, what do you think? It looks beautiful. It looks like a brand new system. As long as you have the proper tools, like a you know fairly accessible blower, as well as some anti-static. We were, we were very uh, pleasantly surprised by the blower. Yeah. It's cheaper than what people usually buy, and it actually performs really well. Mm -hmm. So we'll definitely leave links to that in the description if you're interested. But overall, looks really good. Filters are installed at the front. Nice and clean. Um, yeah, back panel. So I guess uh, you could do the honors of putting the tempered glass. Putting tempered glass. glass. That's a that's a brand new man. I am so happy right now. I don't know about you. I don't care. That's the thing. But I care. I know you. Everyone do. watching this video cares about this system. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh man, now I guess it's just a matter of testing to see if it actually boots. Well, it probably does. I hope it does. Because if if not, we broke it. Yep. Yeah, let's let's plug it in. Why did it turn off earlier? I, I don't know, but it seems to be working just fine. It's, uh -oh. it's going okay. to Windows. Oh yeah, everything's fine. But what's that sound? It's the fan. Oh no. But why? What is... Uh, it just got better. Are we supposed to like loosen this or something or... Well, the good news is that we're booted. I mean, it's it's all working just fine. Now we're about to run the Ida64 stress test on the CPU and then we're going to run it for about 20 minutes, record the average CPU temperature and then 
uh, switch to Unigen Valley for the GPU temps to see how hot that gets. And actually compared to what we got before when the system was absolutely disgusting. So we have completed our tests and the results, well, they do speak for themselves. Now, I was expecting temperatures to come down and they certainly did, as you can see by these side-by-side -side comparisons. There is almost a 10 degree difference in the CPU stress test, which is insane. So, Snows, what do you got to say? It's a, yeah, okay. It's 10 degrees lower, it's fine. I mean, it, that's a lot, man. Yeah, I know. I thought it wouldn't make that much of a difference, but it actually, it's pretty huge. It's, it's amazing, 10 right? 10 degrees on the but CPU the, and uh, how yeah, much on the GPU? The GPU was like a couple degrees, two degrees, tell which them what wasn't uh, that tell them. <laughs> Okay, we ran into a little bit of an issue. Well, it's more of a good news, but it's also something that needs a little bit more explanation. And I think you might be a better, you might do a better job at that. Mm -hmm. We ran Overwatch. Interestingly, we gained an extra 10 frames per second. Yeah. And I did not think that would happen at all. Mm -hmm. I thought the performance would be the exact same, Yeah, but it didn't. But it shouldn't, right? Well, the thing is, uh, when you're running a game, you're not just stressing the CPU or just the GPU. So there's residual heat from each component, that's, right? That's true. So before, when it was full of dust, uh, the residual heat was basically just stuck there. Like the CPU would output heat, it would stay in the case longer because the fans had a harder time uh, expelling that heat. Right. Um, so the GPU was boosting normally, no problem. Um, but thanks to GPU boost, the card overclocks itself depending on the temp temperature of the case. So if the temperature inside of the case is higher, then it would down clock. It would down resulting clock. Resulting in lower. So before when there was less airflow, it would down clock and stay at the same temperature. Right now, because there's more airflow, it stayed at its highest clock possible at and lowest, at the same temperature. At, well, sort of lowest temperature because mm -hmm. it's two degrees cooler. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, 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 I'm fascinated by that. I want to know your thoughts about that as well. I mean, is it is it definitely something that you've experienced as well? Because technically, Temperatures, well, if, if the higher a GPU temp gets, it should definitely affect clock speeds, which results in lower frame rates, but mm -hmm. we didn't expect it to be an extra. I feel so dumb. I had I had no idea. I mean, an extra 10 frames per second is a lot. Yeah. Uh, so I think we're gonna leave it at that, guys. Mm -hmm. Just do yourself a favor and- Clean, clean your system. Yeah, just do that. From the guy who said it didn't matter at all. Yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. It certainly was fun. Uh, being able to clean Snow's PC. Honestly, it feels awesome to see a fresh, clean looking system that's not dusty as what it was before. Let me know what you guys think. I'm Ebro with Hardware Connects. I'm Snow's from Boot Sequence, but with Hardware Connects. And we'll see you on the next one. On the next was, one. Was I supposed to say that? No, it's fine. You, you <laughs> okay. said it. That's, that's good. Oh, my channel is going to be somewhere on the screen. It'll so be somewhere. So. Click on it. Yeah.